Now I will explain how we can implement JWT authentication in uh, GraphQL. JWT authentication is an important feature in every web application nowadays. To show you how it works, uh, when the user create his uh, new account or login uh, using his email or password, I will return a JWT token to that user. It will show me that the email is already registered, so I need to create pass a new e email here. When I create a new user, it will return uh, a new token to me. I need to pass this, this token with every request. If I don't pass this token in request, uh, then, it will, then the server will not allow me to view or do any other action. For example, if I need to view or uh, get our recipes, I need to pass the token here. And this token has expiry, expiry date of two hours. After two hours, it will expire. Uh, it, if I will pass the correct token and then it will allow me to see uh, and get our recipes uh, API. But if I change my token, then it will throw the error that the user is not authenticated. I need to pass the correct uh, token here. If I don't pass the token here, then it will also lo uh, don't allow me to uh, view our recipes. So how this, uh, this work in uh, GraphQL? In GraphQL, we need, we, there is a parameter card context that we pass in start standalone server. This context uh, act as middleware. It will be called before uh, every request where we are getting the authorization token that is our JWT token and verifying that token. If the user pass uh, the correct token, then we are allowing the user to view or uh, perform the action. But if the user did not or pass the invalid token, then we are uh, restricting the user from uh, uh, performing any action. This uh, context parameter takes an asynchronous function. I have uh, written the function is a separate file in my context folder. If the user is trying to create his new account or uh, uh, trying to log in using his email and password, then I am not asking him to provide the JWT token and returning the empty object from there. But if the user is trying to perform any other action, then I am uh, asking the user to provide the authorization. Uh, the token is the authorization header and get the user. In the get user uh, function, I am verifying the token by passing the token and by passing the JWT private key. If the user is not valid, then I am throwing the error that user is not authenticated. But if the user is valid, then I am throwing, then I am uh, returning the uh, user object. I can also uh, access this user object in all my resolvers. For example, the user object can be accessed in the context value. That is my third parameter. If I console log the context value and send my request again to get our recipes. You can see this user is also accessible in get our recipes. I can use this user object for different purposes like uh, uh, by st uh, for storing the ID of the user that is creating a new recipe, the ID of user that is uh, getting our recipes and for other purposes as well. So in this way, we can implement the JWT authentication in GraphQL.